I'm more concerned about relationships than I am money because I realize the actual value of high quality relationships. That if you know how to be a good friend and you invest in those relationships the right way, I don't want to spend time with random people. I don't want to spend time with good people. I want to spend time with the best people. So I want to have the best coaches, the best mentors, the best trainers, and I have to make myself valuable to those people if I have that expectation for them to spend their time with me because their, their time is very valuable. If you don't have a million dollars yet, you're living a much lesser life than what could be easily available to you with the right guidance. My head coach has freed up a few spots in his calendar to hold one-on-one -on -one strategy calls with the highest quality applicants. If you're doing well already and you're looking to accelerate your momentum and do even better, click the link in the description now and apply for your strategy session. More at the end of this video. I'm looking at the screen here. Edwin says, Derek, I made $3,500 during this call arbitraging two single family homes. That's what's up. Shout out to Edwin. Good for you. Good for you, Edwin. Tim says, hey, Derek, as always, it was a pleasure to be in the program again. Uh, even after going through the course several times already, there are always new and tremendously valuable lessons to learn. I also want to thank you for your help in the past months and years. I made a ton of life-changing money. I'm very proud of that, but I wouldn't have happened without your help and advice. Thanks a lot. Uh, only six weeks left till we see each other again in person. Also very excited about Markets Mastery. Hope you have a great day and see you there soon. Um, yeah, thanks, Tim. I, I always have respect for you as well. You know, Tim's the guy that always shows up, always does his part. He's been a good friend consistently for a decade or so. And um, yeah, I wish I had more people like that in my life. Yeah. Wish there were more people like that. They don't make too many people like us. The decisions that you're making are going to impact the rest of your damn life, even if you don't think so. Even if you're like, oh, I'll just wait. I'll just do it tomorrow. No, you do it today. Do it today. If you got something to do, do it right now. Mark says, Derek, as always, your time here is sincerely appreciated. My question today has to do with uh, partitioning time. How has your time invested in developing social skills morphed and changed is you've continued to build your wealth and social capital. I'm more concerned about relationships than I am money. Uh, you know, that this is the brief answer to your question. I'm a lot more concerned about relationships than money because I realize the actual value of high quality relationships. That if you know how to be a good friend um, and you invest in those relationships the right way, I don't spend time accidentally with random assholes. I spend time with people that are, are my best option. So if I if I want uh, if I'm going to spend social time with somebody, it's not even social time. I'm always multitasking something. So I, I don't have any pure social time. Uh, I always have objectives in mind. Uh, this is very alienating to some people because they're dumb, because they're stupid. And they're just like, what? No, the kid I grew up with down the street, he's my friend. It's like, no, it's just a random person that grew up down the street from you, kid. It's just a random dummy that grew up down the street from you. If you met that person in real life today, you wouldn't be friends with them. <laughs> so you have these legacy friends that people, you know, allow to linger around. It's really sad. Um, I don't want to spend time with random people. I don't want to spend time with good people. I want to spend time with the best people. So I want to have the best coaches, the best mentors, the best trainers. And I have to make myself valuable to those people if, uh, if I have that expectation for them to... Uh, spend their time with me because their, their time is very valuable. So I need to be helping them solve problems. I need to make sure that I'm doing my part proactively and preemptively. They should never have to say it. I need to be proactive and preemptive to make sure that I'm doing my part. So, um, you know, they're, they're delighted with our relationship, delighted with our friendship. And when I call or text them, they, they return my call promptly because they'd never want to leave me waiting. I think the same thing about a, you know any romantic relationship that like if your your boyfriend girlfriend like um, don't do the minimum for each other do the maximum try to help each other you, 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 proactively you should be thinking what you know what is what does my partner need what can I help them with what can I do for them if they're not thinking the same way for me they're not going to be around for long somebody would be happy to do that so um, you know make sure you have that conversation with your partner make sure you're you're on the same page that um, you, you want to do the maximum for each other. And, you know, the, that's a very healthy relationship, really. There's very few people that have such a wonderful relationship. 
very few people are, are, are that way. So, you know, find somebody that's compatible with that and make sure that you over deliver for each other. You know, and, and all your relationships should be this way. And, you know, if you do that, um, you know, you're going to be spending time with high quality people. But you, if you, that, that's not accidental. You have to be a high quality person. So in my current circumstance, you know, I think a lot more about relationships because, you know, really my money makes me enough money that I don't have to think about money. Which is, I mean, that's, you want to be an investor. The goal here is to be an investor, folks. You just went through the entrepreneurship course. Entrepreneurship's dope. Entrepreneurship's great. Entrepreneurship's a lot of fun. The richest people in the world started off as entrepreneurs. Some of them continue to be entrepreneurs. Some of them sell companies and invest the money. Uh, nonetheless, they're some of the richest people in the world, or they are the richest people in the world. And, uh, you know, I, I want you to have the opportunity to move towards investor over time that you have enough money that your money makes you money and you don't have to do any labor for the money. I don't consider anything I do with the money bird business. This is not laborious. It's not labor. I don't do things that aren't fun. I quite sincerely enjoy what I do here. And um, if I didn't, I would just stop doing it and I'd reallocate my time to something else. So I'm happy to help the people that want to be helped. I'm happy to help the people that want to help themselves. Uh, but I'm really happy to alienate and, and scold and offend the others that, you know, I, I always say if you're offended by the word loser, you probably are one. So winners aren't offended by that word. So you, you can't behave like a loser. You can't do loser shit and expect winning outcomes. You, you, gotta, you have to modify your behaviors uh, to engage in, you know, the, the most optimal behaviors now. Uh, and compound those social gains, intellectual gains, financial gains. And hey, go get the money, man, and invest in your education and invest in high-quality friendships. But if you're not out earning the money, you know, nobody's going to take you seriously, and nor should they. Nor should they. If you're not willing to go earn the money, like, why should they take you seriously? It literally is just an indicator of your contribution to the world. If you're contributing at a high level, you'd have resources. So if, if a person has a resource constraint, what they really have done is they haven't contributed uh, in a way that they're you know, entitled or, you know, they, they, haven't, they haven't earned the resources that they wish they had. And, you know, again, contribute more and the world will give you more. It's not the universe. It's not some metaphysic shit. It's like, no, if you contribute more, you'll earn more and you'll have more. A um, hundred out of a hundred times, contribute more and you'll earn more and you'll end up with more. If you don't mismanage it terribly, you'll be very wealthy someday. You can continue to compound and compound and compound and earn more and compound and compound and compound. My favorite day, is, my favorite holiday is coming up. My favorite holiday of the year. I know it's Valentine's Day. I know you guys love being here with me. But leap year, I get to work an extra day. There's a February 29th this year. There's an extra day for us to be productive. My whole team's excited about it. We're gonna, excite, we're gonna celebrate with an extra day of work. We're going to get more shit done this year. We're going to get an extra day of shit done this year. And that's that's a beautiful thing. Um, people that don't want to work is a big red flag. Like, you spend money every day. You're supposed to make money every day. Silly to, to not want to do that. Uh, Sydney says, big takeaway from the course, the best way to build a premier life is to proactively do things that are uncomfortable in the short term but will produce great results in the long term. Most people aren't willing to do it. So uh, this will easily differentiate you. Fact, very well said. In fact, nothing else to say. It's just that's a fact. Good for you. Um, Guy says, hi, Derek. Thanks a lot for being here for us and giving us some timeless advice and lessons uh, that you may not, uh, that we may not want to hear, however, need to hear. My question is, when looking uh, to advance in a corporate career, what strategies do you recommend to build connections with uh, more senior colleagues and get in their orbit so I can convey my value to them and show them how I can contribute at a high level? It's like, why do you think so lowly of yourself that you want to be a corporate dode? You're probably better than that. So I'm going to answer your question, but you're probably better than that, and you could choose to do more. And I don't know. I mean, there's worse things, I suppose, but make sure you invest that salary. Don't spend it on silly stuff. Invest it to buy yourself more freedom so you don't have to stay there forever. 
Um, I mean, you have to contribute first. Like, what, what have you done to, to earn, I think you said, to be in their orbit? What have you done to earn your place there? <clears throat> you already said they're more senior. They've been there longer than you. So what, what have you done to earn your spot in that orbit? Like, you have to show up and ask for more responsibility consistently. So what else can I do? How else can I contribute? And make sure you do an excellent job. Over deliver, do an excellent job. Come back and ask for more work. What else can I do? How else can I contribute? What else can I do? How else can I, can I contribute? I mean, it just has to be that in perpetuity, man. And, um, you know, if you could help your current, your current supervisor, uh, your current manager, if you could help them get a promotion and then they recommend you to take their spot, that's a pretty good strategy. I did that when I still had a job. I worked my ass off. I let my my uh, current supervisor take a lot of the credit for it. And when she got promoted, who do you think she said when they asked when the managers asked her who should take your spot, who's the person best suited? They already knew it was me. But you know, when they asked her, she said, "Oh, him. You got you have to put him in there. He's done a lot of the stuff here." So, you know, make sure that, uh, let, let them take credit for, make sure that they're going to be a team player about it, though. And a lot of people will, but a few people won't. A few people will just take advantage of your hard work and act like they did everything, and uh, that's not good. So make sure that you're getting credit for it on some level. But, um, you know, help your current boss get a promotion. I hate the word boss, but help your current supervisor or manager get a promotion. And, you know, Make sure that it's it's understood that you're going to work your ass off there. It's a goal of yours to help them do that, but you want their current spot once you do that. Make it easy for them. Make life easy for them. Go to your go to those people that are you know a couple levels above you and say you know hey, um, what can I do to contribute more? What are your highest priorities that I could take a little workload off of your uh, out of your day so you could focus on the things that you want to focus on. And make sure you do those things excellent. And if you ask for that responsibility and then you fumble and you don't do the work, you'll never be given the opportunity again. You'll make sure that you're, you're stunted and, you know, you'll never get good promotions or raises after that. So you have to ask for the opportunity and then you have to be excited about the opportunity and, uh, and then go execute at a high level. Make sure you execute at a high level and... Um, you know, they're going to come back and ask you to do more. They're going to come back and ask you to do more. And at some time they're going to realize, hey, that person's pretty valuable here. We better give them some raises and promotions so they don't go somewhere else. So that's a good situation to be in. You watch this video all the way through, and that tells me you're dedicated to learning more and earning far above average outcomes in your life. Congratulations for that. But now it's time to take action. If you could have earned those results by yourself, you would have done it already. My head coach has opened up a few spots on his high demand calendar for an in-person one-on-one strategy session to help you. On this call, we'll give you the pragmatic advice that you can implement tonight to get laser focused on the right metrics and leave mediocrity far behind in your past. Click that link right now in the description below and apply for your call immediately. Do it now.